It all started when Germany invaded Poland in 1939, which made Britain and France declare war on Germany. That was just the beginning. A lot of stuff happened after that, like when Germany quickly took over France and the Low Countries in 1940. It was a big deal because it showed how powerful the German military was at the time. But the Battle of Britain later that year was a turning point because the British Royal Air Force managed to fend off the German Luftwaffe, preventing an invasion of Britain. Things really got intense when Germany decided to invade the Soviet Union in 1941 with Operation Barbarossa. It was a massive operation and caught the Soviets by surprise, but it eventually bogged down, especially during the brutal winter. Around the same time, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, bringing the United States into the war. This changed everything because now it was truly a global conflict with the US joining the Allies. Fast forward to 1944, and the Allies were making significant progress. D-Day was a huge operation where Allied forces landed in Normandy, France, and began liberating Western Europe from Nazi control. Paris was freed later that summer, and the Allies kept pushing back the Germans. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, the Soviet Union was making headway too, especially after their victory at the Battle of Stalingrad in 1943. The last major German offensive, the Battle of the Bulge, was repelled by the Allies in early 1945, signaling the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. By April 1945, the Soviets had encircled Berlin, and the city was falling. Hitler, realizing the war was lost, committed suicide in his bunker. Shortly after, Germany surrendered unconditionally on May 8, 1945, which we now celebrate as V-Day, Victory in Europe Day. But the war wasn't over yet because the fighting in the Pacific continued. The US was using a strategy called island hopping to get closer to Japan, capturing key islands like Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The final blow came in August 1945 when the US dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The devastation was unprecedented and forced Japan to surrender. Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's surrender on August 15, 1945, and the formal surrender ceremony took place on September 2, 1945, aboard the USS Missouri. That marked the official end of World War II, bringing an end to one of the most destructive conflicts in history.